What we've just tried to do is just summarize it in a couple of slides. Um, Margot did summarize it in terms of a work plan, but it, I'd like to say at the, at the outside, it's a, it's a, a work that's still in motion, that we need your input still further, uh, even after trying to summarize it. Uh, we've summarized it in a couple of blocks, and uh, to start off, the first area we tried to summarize is in the area of country support and coordination. Now, in our discussion, there's a lot of issues that we haven't captured here. For instance, um, what mechanisms you're going to need uh, for, for country support and coordination, uh, looking both at in-country coordination, but also at, at coordination at, at uh, inter-country uh, level. And we specifically discussed in our, on the first day that regional uh, coordination that, that need to happen. But what we uh, said that that's work that needs to be done, uh, we had some input on hotspots. We clearly need to uh, uh, refine our definition of hotspots, but, and we need to finalize uh, hotspot mapping in all countries. Uh, we need to look at the cholera app. It's uh, something that you all have been able to look at. Uh, there's comments at the back that people made on the cholera app. Obviously, this app needs to be finalized, and um, we, the foundation is working very actively on that. But in any case, this is, this is something that we, we all will benefit from. Um, the one issue related to the cholera app is how do you integrate, uh, if you can call it, health promotion messages and so social mobilization messages so that it's not only used by cholera or health workers as such, but also as a health promotion tool. So this is an issue we need to look uh, at, at taking forward. In terms of um, the database, we had a presentation on, on that. Um, there's been a proposal from John Hopkins University on their particular database. There's been discussion about some kind of tools that we can use, also uh, simplified tools, not perhaps, well, based on a database that you can use also in advocacy. For instance, if, if you want to use it within a fora where you compare countries to, it, uh, to uh, one another, like the malaria uh, tool is used, um, at the AU, for instance, where we know a lot of countries in Africa are experiencing presently outbreaks. So you would want to use that as a kind of a dashboard. But there, there's a, a lot of uses of database, and we need to um, sharpen our work in this particular area and, and look at, obviously, uh, reporting uh, and, and other issues. In terms of uh, in in country coordination, I'd like to say, but also advocacy and support inter, in country and also outside countries. We need to look at. Uh, in terms of some of the technical works that that needs to be done, we for in today's workshops we worked on uh, clear uh, national cholera plans and some strategies with regard to in in country support. Uh, we need to look at how we uh, support the development of plans. Uh, obviously, this needs to be driven by the countries themselves. Uh, no partner or, or the task force can take this particular task over, but there needs to be some technical support for this. Um, with regard to uh, the review of these plans, uh, we need to still look at clear mechanisms. How do we review that? How, we, how do we interfere or, in a way, make advices in such a way that it, it's not taking over the country's uh, sovereignty, if you, you can call it in, in that way, so that uh, the person that drive implementation should always be the country of their plan, but also impl implementation of, of cholera, cholera control uh, agenda in a specific country. Uh, we look. We need to look at MNE mechanisms uh, that cuts across the borders. 
um, that can can uh, very objectively tell countries where they are, and 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 not only uh, are dependent on some of the sub subjective uh, input of the country itself. And obviously surveillance is critical. Um, obviously there's been discussions even today about <clears throat> relying on, if a country say there's no cholera, we need to, to be clear that, that null reporting means, means uh, null reporting. So even in countries that that have uh, not reported cholera, this, this is an issue. We need to look at capacity for surveillance. Uh, in terms of the further guidances that countries need, it's with regard to uh, for outbreak response teams, rapid response teams, clear SOPs in that regard. Um, there's a lot of tools that's already made available that's also available um, uh, well as downloadable tools, and we had presentations on that. Um, yeah, so so these tools need to be made available in simplified uh, field ma manuals that people can use on a more technical basis. Um, the wash measures, uh, we've had uh, a lot of discussions on wash, uh, particularly um, how do you uh, coordinate between your wash activities and OCV activities. Obviously, we hear that a lot of countries are looking at OCV, but clearly wash is the more long-term strategy that, that can best give you benefits with regard to cholera. Uh, training framework we need to look at develop for both wash and, and other measures in implementation, um, RDTs we discussed, and, and so forth. Uh, in, with regard to governance, um, we, we must re remember we just established the governance structures last year. We adopted it in terms of terms of reference. They're only going to have their first meeting um, tomorrow. Clearly, uh, some of the challenges that they need to still grapple with is um, look if their structure is adequate to support the functions, and we've saw the big functions in terms of the, <clears throat> the working groups, but also in terms of country support on the other side. They need to somehow devise a work plan that's adequate for themselves. It's good that they're going to start tomorrow, and, and, and that will be obviously communicated to the rest of uh, the bigger uh, coordinating team that, that's sitting uh, <clears throat> around us. There's the issue of country support programs. How do you best coordinate support within a country? We talked about the strong leg, but how is that leg coordinated with the rest of the body? How do they link together? Uh, uh, is there a focal point, a cholera focal point, or uh, if you can call it a, a GTFCC uh, focal point within the country, it might be a way to look at specifically what you call the endemic countries that we need to look at there. And you need to define a different mechanism in other countries. Uh, but somehow <clears throat> other countries that may be at risk uh, with regard to uh, the issues that you look. And obviously <clears throat> we uh, there's also the issue of coordinators, uh, our coordinators, your focal point, do you need something else uh, uh, within countries? And uh, the issue of sub-regional level I mentioned uh, earlier. Research, uh, there's going to be a specific focus on research uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, obviously, uh, there needs to be developed the internet, uh, coordinated research ag agenda. Um, but important, uh, <clears throat> there needs to not only be research, there it needs to be operational so that it informs some of our uh, implementation targets and some of uh, the, 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 the challenges that we have within countries. Advocacy, um, I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. We must not depend on the secretariat or the task force for advocacy. 
if we don't advocate <laughs> ourselves, then uh, the fight against cholera will never end. So we all need to become advocates. Uh, we need to find a way that we use existing fora so that we don't have additional expenditure. And that particular fora should be multi-sectoral fora. It shouldn't only focus on health fora. But clearly the health fora we should also target because uh, where the, when the ministers of health come together, that's a fora that we need to focus on. But we need to find a way where the presidents come together, where the African presidents come together, where the SADC ministers. These, these fora exist every year. And f quite frequently, SADC comes together in August every year. AU comes together in January, February. September, all the, all the presidents of, of the world come together in New York. These are fora that we should use. Uh, we need to look at resources. There are in any setting, even in a richer setting, the resources uh, are far um, outweighed by the demand. That will be the case with, with uh, the vaccine OCV, and it will be the case with other resources as well, human resources. Even in the richer settings, you have uh, limited resources. We need to find ways to effectively use uh, these resources. Obviously, uh, we, our work plan, we will crystallize it on paper. It needs still input from you. We will have to put timelines uh, onto it. A lot of the work I need to <coughs> say, came from the Secretariat, and a lot of the coordination still needs to be done uh, from them in that regard. Uh, there's a lot of good stories to tell. Good stories can also serve as advocacy tools. We need to find a way that we harness that good stories, that we uh, package it in such a way that we can use it better as, as uh, advocacy tools. Uh, with that, I think that ends my input. And I'd like to, from my side, uh, thank you, thank the Secretariat for arranging this, um, and thank you for listening to me. Thank you very much. <laughs>